All right, so I think you saw that last video where I was herping in the Everglades for a day and a half to two days. Um, had some fun, and now I'm back in the Florida Panhandle at my grandparents' house for Christmas, which is tomorrow, so it's Christmas Eve today. Um, but it's like 45 degrees right now, and I just flipped a snake. I, I was driving my brother to Walmart, and I just saw a stack of like eight rocks or something. I got out flipped them i found a little frog too but i just released it flipped these rocks found a really small snake i'll pull it out here in a second but the next few days is kind of cool um but today was actually the coldest day and since i found something already when it was 46 degrees i guess i can find stuff again later so that gives me hope to find stuff while i'm here um but yeah hopefully i can find a decent amount of things for this video and i'll show them but let me pull out the snake real quick and I'll show that to you guys, and then who knows what else I'll find this video. Alright, so here we have uh, the red-bellied snake. You can see why right there, and really nice stomach. This is a pretty dark for one of them, I believe, although this is my lifer. Uh, so yeah, I was super excited, actually. I'm not sure. I, they're probably pretty common, but I was super excited just because it was 45 degrees outside, and I flipped this guy. Um, it was... I brought it back to the house because my phone was dead and I want to get photo and video, but I will release it later. It's just like a five minute drive from here. Um, but I'm going to try to get some pictures of it. I'm really glad I could find something and I was kind of worrying that I might not find anything after I left the Everglades just because it's kind of a cold front, bad weather, but who knows. Maybe I won't find anything else and this is it, but glad I could find this guy. All right, so I'm releasing the snake. Um, as you can see, there's a road right there and stuff. I was just driving past and I saw this stack of rocks over here and I was like, ooh, that looks good. Um, so I just gotta get it out of the pack this guy. It's good looking. Um, but it was in between, oh, I was underneath this rock because there's another one underneath it. It was just in between the two rocks. I'm just gonna let it go there. make sure I'll make sure it gets back inside but maybe hopefully I'll find something else the next few days this uh, piece of log right here um, I'm just gonna kind of set him right underneath it and he'll go back under there but another cool find I found this spot where my grandpa showed it to me there's tons of stuff to flip and I'll have to come back on a better warmer day for sure but I can probably find stuff here soon in the next few days so I just flipped that log right there. It's uh, like 40 degrees now. Just flipped this anole right here. And this one's a male, you can see. Has that flap of skin right there, that red flap. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Since it's pretty cold, I don't wanna keep it out for too long, but I'll just set it back under its log. Sun's about to set and uh, it's cold. Um, but we'll let him find his way under there and I think the walk is almost over, but I'll definitely check this area out again soon. I'm at my grandparents' house about to leave. Got a nice green anole right there. I've seen several of these green anoles on the trip, but this is the first one that's actually been green because they can still change colors. Um, maybe I'll try to get a few pictures and let, let him go, but he's definitely going to be slow right now because he just started basking, and once again, it's only 46 degrees. But it actually feels pretty nice out. I'm feeling good. Hopefully, maybe I can find like a scarlet snake or something, but really any snake would be cool. Um, but gonna leave this guy alone and just hopefully I can find something today. Another one of these guys. Kinda looks like the same one as yesterday, but I doubt it. All right, so I've been flipping for a little while and no luck, but you can see there's a whole bunch of trash here. That's mostly what I've been flipping, but here's a good board pile, some layers. Maybe I can find something. Um, it's possible that because it was like freezing last night that they are all underground and won't come out for a day or two, but, um, who knows, maybe I'll find something right here, but we got some good board piles that I'm about to check out. Alright, I just flipped this guy and he's not happy. Another anole here, but you can see is uh, using his neck flap there to get big, try to be scary. Let's see if I can get him to, his mouth looks actually big and it's, it kind of works. Wow, look at that. That is cool. Still no snakes yet, which I'm actually pretty surprised, but this is a pretty cool find just to see it getting all 
big and offensive. We're gonna try to snap a few pictures real quick. You can see there's a little one down there. I'm blocking it with my shadow. Little one down there. I haven't flipped this piece real quick, so. Nothing. Just gonna leave that little one all there and keep going. All right, I've just been hiking some random trails in the middle of nowhere, um, sometimes not even on trails. And I flipped this log right here. I'm, I'm so stoked right now. I am so stoked. I flipped this log, log right here, I was about to put it back. Saw something barely sticking out right over here. No, it was right there. It was right there. Afterwards, I saw the snake shed right there. And here I have an amazing scarlet king snake. Look at this guy. With the shed there, it shedded somewhat recently. Normally those uh, can decompose pretty quickly out here in the east where it's really wet. Look at this guy. He's glowing. Oh my gosh. I almost flipped the log back and I barely saw it sticking out. I've been out here for hours. It's 46 degrees right now. And I just flipped a Scarlet King Snake, which I said a uh, goal was, uh, I think I said Scarlet Snake earlier. Maybe I said Scarlet King Snake, but either of those I was kind of looking for. Um, but I have a Scarlet King Snake right here, and it is looking amazing. He's starting to get mad now. He's kind of launching at me. It's fine. He, oh, he's not going to do anything, obviously, but wow, I am... I got a few decent pictures that show what the snake looks like, but when all you have is an iPhone, it's obviously hard to get amazing shots, but oh my gosh. It all paid off, and I could not be happier right now. This is the uh, this is Christmas day today, and this is, I guess, the, the candy cane right here. Gonna, oh my gosh, I am so stoked. I am so stoked. All right, I spent quite a bit of time with him getting pictures. Well, probably like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna let him go now. You can see he's just posed nicely. He's been pretty chill for the most part, just sitting there. But just one more look at this amazing snake. The the red nose with the just black and white on the head. Oh, there's a little ant crawling on him. But such an amazing snake. I debated about even coming out here today because um, it was really low temperatures, um, but I'm glad I did. I'm gonna let him go here. All right, so I just put the log back and it was right over here. Just gonna let, it, let him find his way under there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I'll probably still do some flipping, um, but I know that I can head home accomplished. I'm gonna give him a little tap, so we... All right, well, he'll get under there and I'm gonna keep it moving. All right, so it is now the day after Christmas. Um, here, gonna do some herping. I'm at this uh, site. It's kind of a trashed area, abandoned construction zone, I think. Um, but there's quite a few decent things to flip. I flipped a few anoles, um, but I just flipped this uh, little narrow mouth, narrow mouth toad right there. I'm not sure exactly which kind. I'm gonna have to get home and check my book i forgot it for some reason um but yeah so that's a lifer for me not sure what it is but the high today is like 51 degrees or something um but i mean might be able to find some more stuff and hopefully it's a good video hopefully it's a good day and i can find some cool stuff but we'll see here's a better look at this guy just since i didn't get a very good shot of him um i'll release him shortly but i gotta flip a few of these first before i can set his log back.
but yeah, lifer. Not sure what kind, but narrow mouthed toad. All right, so I've been surprised that I haven't found a salamander this whole time. Uh, until now, we got a southern red salamander. Um, these guys can be a lot brighter in color, um, but they're found here on the Florida Panhandle and a lot more over. Um, but glad I could finally find a salamander. This is a lifer. Um, found very few salamanders ever. Just because in Colorado, the only salamander is the tiger. And I've only found a few on other trips. But pretty cool guy. Um, only probably like four inches long, maybe. But they can get a brighter red. Um, but they could. He still looks pretty nice. I'm going to set him back underneath his uh, log right here. And. Uh, just let this guy go. Alright, so I just flipped a whole bunch of ants. Um, and there's also a little anole chilling with them. So that's that's unusual for sure. Looks like he might come on out of here. Uh, which is probably good for before I put this log back. Just flips this tiny little scorpion. I have no idea what kind, but you can see there's my... Uh, finger for size reference all right so we were driving home um didn't have much luck for how many hours we spent out there um but we thought we'd check out this electrical box again where i saw that uh eastern fence lizard and i was able to catch it this time um it's, it's nothing too special but it's a lifer so i just kind of wanted to wanted to check it off but he's he's a pretty good looking guy you can see the the blue underneath there kind of there we go. But I'm just going to set him on here and let him go. All right, so I think that last clip you saw was from two, maybe even three days ago. I haven't been herping as much as I should have, um, but I've been hanging out with the fam and uh, spent some time at the beach, which was cool. I saw a lot of stingrays. Actually, I'll put a video, a quick clip right here of the stingrays. Um, but in, uh, today I'm just going to be hiking a uh, mostly golf course to check the edges just for stuff basking, hopefully like a diamondback or something, but really anything. Um, but right now I just spotted an old abandoned structure down there. Um, so you know how that goes. Got to go check it out, see if there's some tin lying around, stuff like that, and hopefully flip something there. Um, but I'm trying to find a snake or two more before I do head home in uh, the next couple of days. Alright, so I just flipped a uh, southern two-line salamander, I believe. And um, this guy's not wanting to hold still, which is fine. I'll release him shortly. I'm not going to really try to get any good pictures because he's so small. Um, but yeah i'll release this kind of bit i've mostly just been flipping i was planning on uh walking edges for something but i found a lot of stuff to flip so i've just been doing that but i'll just release this little guy back under his log until work his way under there and i'm gonna keep on moving all right so thanks for watching i thought i'd film an outro but i'm now back at home it's february 10th so it's been a while since i was there uh it was a really fun trip um, I want to go back soon eventually, but right now I'm just waiting for spring in Colorado. Uh, me and Hayden did a lot of prepping, whether it's scouting areas or looking for boards this year. So it's going to be a good season. We just have like a month or two, and then we'll be back in business for Colorado herping. So stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video.